Hey everyone, Tanner Bell here from Makers Gonna Learn. I'm super excited to be here on Auntie Tay's YouTube channel for her Takeover Tuesday. If you are a huge die cutting enthusiast like I am, be sure to check out our channel linked down below so you can get lots more inspiration using your die cutting machine. But in today's video, we are super excited to share tips with working with transfer paper. I'm super excited about this because I love this amazing masking paper transfer tape from Auntie Tay. And I'm gonna share with you some amazing tips and tricks and explain why you need both types of transfer tape in your crafting. So if you guys are excited, let's jump into it. Tip number one is always try to reuse your transfer tape. Now clearly your clear grid line transfer tape is going to be able to be reused quite a few times, which is awesome. But what I really love is the masking paper transfer tape. You get so much more in every roll and it's going to be a lot more affordable for you guys to use fresh pieces because it's so much more economical. So be sure to reuse that transfer tape as it is quite expensive and you guys are going to really see that you can stretch that lifespan quite a bit. Tip number two is let the mat work for you. I'm a huge advocate about being able to weed on your mat as well as being able to use the mat as a third hand for when you're applying things and transferring the vinyl decal onto the transfer tape. It's super easy to be able to take any transfer tape that you want. Now I'm using the masking paper transfer tape today because we're using a curved surface for this demonstration, but look at how easy it is to pull some out and then just quickly be able to rip it. Now you could also use a pair of scissors, but I just love how easy it is. So you're going to let the mat be a third hand for you, but then tip number three is to taco it. So you're going to want to make sure to kind of start in the middle of your image and just kind of lay it down just like so and kind of work out side to side. So when you taco it and start in the middle and then work your way to each side, we find that you get less air bubbles from laying it flat down onto your vinyl decal. And then we call it the taco method because when you're holding it up, it looks like a little taco shell and we love it. Next up, you want to make sure you burnish more than you think. And this is a great tip for when you are going to take it from the backing sheet and when you're applying it to whatever surface you're going to put your decal on. Now, once you've burnished and you're ready to remove it from the mat, here's a great tip. You want to go with gravity. So we just kind of peel it back right here, just like so, off the mat and then we can sit the mat to the side. Now what I like to do at this step is to be able to burnish just a little bit more. Remember guys, you can never burnish too much because this is always going to help you get an amazing transfer. Once you feel like you have burnished quite a bit though, you can start peeling back just like so. And again, we like to refer to this as going with gravity. And another tip is we like to keep the uh, backing sheet of the vinyl very tight. So you just peel back just like so until you have the entire image transferred over onto that transfer tape. All right, so we have it ready to go on our surface. Now today we're using a curved surface. So one of my favorite reasons to use the masking paper transfer tape is it's perfect for those curved surfaces because we're actually going to grab a pair of scissors and we're going to snip around it. So see how we have quite a bit of excess for our decal? I kind of like to cut off a little bit more of it just to make sure we're close to the decal. And then after this, we're going to kind of snip around the edges so we can really get up into the different pieces of the project, just like so. And when you do this, you'll find it's not as easy to reuse it, but that's why we have just been finding it's so nice to use the masking paper transfer tape because it's such more economical. So we're going to have these both linked down below that you can pick up on Shop Auntie Tay. And you can use the coupon code TANNER for 10% off your order. But you also, if you're an Auntie Tay member, you're going to get 
20% off. So that's super awesome that they've been able to give that to you guys. Um, so be sure to take advantage of that. So now that you've snipped it, we're going to taco it again. We're going to find where we want to position it, start in the middle, and just like we did before, apply it and work our way to each side. So now we get to burnish a lot more right now that we have it applied down and you can kind of see in different areas where having it on um, you know cut and snipped it applies down a lot better and it's a lot nicer than if you did not and it kind of can just flow with those curves so much better and when it, you are working with curved surfaces i do like to take my hand through there just to kind of get a feel for it and then take one of your tools all right, so now you can kind of see that you're able to take a piece of it and start just peeling back just like so. And then you can just kind of see how easy it is to just transfer this out. And just like so, you've been able to apply it on really easily. And we love how quick and easy it was to use the masking paper transfer tape. All right, guys, you got to see a little quick demonstration on how awesome it was to use the masking paper transfer tape. But let me be the first to tell you that you definitely need both of these different types. Now, we love using the masking paper transfer tape for ornaments or any things like these mugs. We absolutely love the paper transfer tape for any printable vinyl projects because it applies so well to our surfaces and doesn't affect our printed um, vinyl, which is really awesome to have this on hand as some of the typical transfer tape we find um, kind of takes some of the ink back with it on occasion. But one thing that the masking paper transfer tape does not do the best at is for those really um, hard vinyls that are like the glitter and holographic and any, you know, surface that is like wood pieces that's when we still like to stick with our clear grid line transfer tape so you definitely do need both of these and we have found that the clear grid line transfer tape is able to be reused quite a bit more so there is value in both of these but when you go over to shopantitay.com you will be able to see that you're going to get a lot of the masking tape transfer tape with um, for an amazing price so it's super awesome. We highly recommend having both of these in your stash and you're going to have a lot of fun with it. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to Auntie Tay's YouTube channel for more takeovers as well as DIY inspiration. Be sure to come on over and check out my YouTube channel, which will also be linked down below for you guys. And be sure to use coupon code Tanner for when you go over and pick up your very own transfer tape. It is a lot of fun, and if you're an anti tape member, you will get 20% off, which is awesome. So I hope you guys have a great day, and happy crafting. See you!